Hello and welcome to the latest episode of The Board Masters with me, Chris Mullins, and I'm joined once again by my lovely wife, Stacey. And today we will be unboxing Honey Buzz, which is one I've been waiting for or excited to open for a while. I think we got it just before Christmas, but we had to wait because they didn't have any of the wooden coins. So now they've arrived, we can finally dive in. And I'm super excited by this because similar to games like it's like a cross between, I think, Too Many Bones and Everdale in terms of the production values of Too Many Bones with the the gorgeous theme and artwork of Everdale. Mm -hmm. So, are you keen to get in there, Stace? Um, yeah, because you've just told me that you've just bought this just because of the look of it. Yeah. And if what's inside is not very good to play, then I'm going to be peeved off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, obviously I pre-ordered it, so there wasn't any reviews out at the time, but it seems to be well received since it has come out. But that's always a risk with Kickstarters and things, I guess, that you, you can never be certain the quality of the actual game. And so, yeah, I do tend to end up buying based on theme and how it looks, but crack it open, we'll have a look. Hopefully it... It's one I'm excited about, but I am nervous as well, because if it doesn't live up to it in person, then I am going to be a bit sad. <laughs> what have we got here? Oh, okay. So we've got some... I think these are the basic sort of cardboard. Well, certainly these are the coins that I've replaced in the box of wooden ones over here. I wonder if these are as well. Well, it just says on the back that spring has sprung in Sweetwater Grove and the flowers are booming, or blooming, as you say. The bees are buzzing and the bears are getting awfully hungry. Is a honey stand really the key to peace and prosperity between all the woodland creatures? It may just be. I do love that sort of, the concept behind it, that basically it's the bees have learned to monetize honey and that's the key to it. Keeping everybody happy. Yeah, uniting the animals of the forest and keeping the peace. It's always the hardest bit. <laughs> they never want to slide off. So is that the rule book? Yeah, you get the nice... Yep. Yeah. How to set up your game. For a different number of players. Okay. Oh, so these look like they're going to be the uh, pollen cells and things that go into into the hive. I guess it's then going to dictate what type of honey you can make and things like that. But they've done a really good job on the rule book, haven't they? I think that's really pretty and so it's very neatly laid out, isn't it, for all the different sections? Yeah, it's not too text heavy. And the it's not, it feels like it's not really paper, it's almost got this film over the top of it to protect it. Okay, nice. Ooh, like, like larvae on them. Mm. Baby, baby, baby bees. Baby bees. And there is a solo. A solo setup. variant? Okay, well, that, that's always handy for learning a game. I'll, I tend to try and have a solo playthrough. I generally watch a watch it played video with Rodney Smith, the legend of the industry, because uh, we've watched a few of those, haven't we, in the last few months? And then I'll play the solo just to get an idea of it before I try and teach you, because we've had some nightmare experiences where we both dive in together and neither of us have any idea what's going on, and it it's not the most fun. Oh, look, the larvae's even have little sleepy hats. How cute. <laughs> They are very sweet, aren't they? So what have so, we got in here? Are there any of these replaced by wooden coins or what the wooden coins you I think the replaced? wooden coins are to replace these. Right. Uh, I think these are the money coins. Uh, yeah, I think that's what the wooden coin... I think this is some extra things. But we'll open both of these in a minute. We'll go through the main box now. So I'm guessing this must be... Because of the plants on the back, these are... The different types of pollen you can find. So you got, it looks like you've got wildflower, cherry, rosemary, and acacia. So those must be the. So that would probably yeah. Match. One, two, three, four. four yeah, I think there's four types. different types of flower there, so they they match up, and then you combine them in different 
ways to mm. give you different bonuses, either make honey or new bees or things like that. So this looks like everybody's little honey yeah. stool or honey the stool. area. <laughs> oh, I love the artwork on those. I know that's the, the first player marker. I think that's been replaced in one of these as well. I think that's in this one. So that's your little scoring board. Okay. Yeah, so wildflower, rosemary, cherry blossom, and acacia. Again, very Everdell like in it the is artwork, very isn't much, it? Isn't it? Really gorgeous. Amazing. Oh, and this is the actual hive, is it? I would think. Looks like it. We've got the queen. We've got the little, where the little baby bugs snug in the bug. The larvae, yeah, with, the, with their little hats on, all cute. I'm guessing these are the slots where these mm. bits are going to fit, which tell you what you can do. And it's the same on both sides as well. I do like a game that actually puts inserts in. Yes. It makes it so much easier. Yeah, definitely. That is. Although I highlighted in Terraforming Mars. Oh, that, that's a nice first player. I thought that was the first player marker in there. One first player marker. Yeah. I thought that was. But again, yeah. that's cool, isn't it? Is that like an actual. Like a couple of almost wooden honey, honey stirrer. stirrer, yeah. yeah. I mean, got... just the fact they went to that much effort just for a first player marker. Oh, you've got the jelly stuff with the nectar, oh, nectar, okay. tokens, nectar that, tokens that just look like sweets. And I think, you know, a lot of the time we're getting components, the, the Everdale squishy berries are held up, but... And I did love those when I got them out. I think these might have even surpassed them today. They are a little bit squishy. But they are. But they actually look like sweets. Mm. They look too delicious. And I'm a bit worried about that. <laughs> ah, they're gorgeous. And I guess this the different types of, again, Pollen, yeah. depending on the type of flower. I think they've got icons on here. So yeah, that one will be that one. That will be that one. And then I think, I guess you've got the other two. Mm -hmm. So you've got Acacia, Rosemary, Cherry, mm -hmm. and Wildflower. So, yeah, I'm not sure which one's which at this point. But. Well, that looks like cherry to me. It's a cherry blossom. Oh, uh, the actual like colour of the petals on there. That's not a bad shout. Oh, it's pink petals, so it looks like cherry blossom. So this might blossom. be acacia. That might be acacia. That. Rosemary. That's purple. A little purple rosemary flowers. That might be wildflower there. Mm. I'm sure that's somewhere. Oh yeah, in the, the book. Will be explained. I mean, even on these, the little bee designs are, are cool. So dive into some of these cards. Got right. my trusty knife because I've had many a struggle opening card packs on these videos in the past. Even though I just noticed they've actually got one of those bands to open it. No, we were right. Yeah. Yeah, we so got the order is, of them right. Yeah, the dark one is wildflower. The kind of starry one with the purple flower is rosemary. The pink one is cherry blossom. And then the clear honey coloured one that we see most of the time is acacia. Yeah. Okay. So these are the different types of orders cards, but based on what it says on the back, large orders and small orders. Um, it's like you can know trader cards, trade honey and pollen for points by selling to the market or completing that order. Yeah, and as you can see, it's the different types of pollen. You need to collect. So the highest honey and pollen. Wildflower. Get a new bee. Oh yeah, these are more orders. So you've got queen contest cards into three groups by colours. 
Yeah, there's some, some of these. So that says Queen's Contest. Yeah, so you, so you get points depending on two neck of each of any two types. So if you got three colours, um, you have to select one at random of each of the colours. Most orders and most nectar. Yeah. And those are the ones that we've got as contests for the game. Okay, yes, there's those three. These cards do all seem to be a bit higgledy-piggledy in terms of the order. You've got rosemary, wildflower. And then you've got, obviously, the order cards are small orders and large orders. Mm -hmm. So we've got a few of those over here. And you'll have a certain number of small orders and large orders depending on the number of players playing the game. Okay. So, for example, two players will add two large orders at the bottom and one small order at the top. So you'll only have three orders in total. Okay. So you just have more players, the more orders. Well, again, it's kind of like Everdell again in that. In that. In Everdell, obviously, you have those random combinations you have to make. Mm. And it's also solo contest cards as well. Again, I just love the artwork throughout these cards. I love that badger, he's, he's living his best life and he's <laughs> just drinking that honey straight out of the barrel. What are the other bits we got in there? We've got lots of different colour beads. So these are your player pieces. And this is like your little workers and your queen. Okay, so it's just one colour per player. So it? It's different player, colours don't yeah. actually mean anything as No, such. they're just because they match the these. So each mm -hmm. player has one of these. Oh yeah, they have the high. So they have the uh, high and the board around the Yeah. So I have the pink, green, yellow, yeah, or so they each blue. Have, have a sign up and... Yeah. So you're assigned so... a player aid and a player piece onto their choosing colour and their player board. And you have ten worker people. Mm-hmm. Beeples. Beeples. They get called. We also have um, other tokens as well. What are these cards? Mm. Have you come across those in there yet? No. Those are, oh, those look like the configuration cards here. Yeah. If you're using configuration card markers, the positions and the orientations of the start and high tiles are predetermined okay so, so again that's be... probably going to correspond with this yeah. is it and you've got to make either you start with that pattern or you make that pattern somehow yeah so you select one card at random and all players will use that card mm -hmm. and that indicates the level of challenge so we have standard configuration cards that are green or the yellow ones for veteran players okay and you've got to arrange your starting hive tiles to match the configuration before you actually start to play the game Okay, cool. So that adds a lot of variability to it then. Mm. There are a lot of trade cards here. Mm. Okay. Lots of contest cards. So yeah, again, lots. Lots and lots of different. Because you only pick one of these, right? One of each colour. One of each colour. So you only have three contest cards per game. And they go here. Okay, well there's 12 there, so I assume there's four of each colour then, so that's... Yes. Yeah, so that's very... That's an awful lot of different variations, and then when you combine the, the hive... Yeah, so these are your solo ones. Yeah, yeah, they say solo at the bottom, that's why I've kept them so And you have different. drone solo cards as well. I think they are in the honey pot. I'm, well, there is one drone card. We'll open that in a minute. Ooh, what are these? Um, that's Those are like little, little cakes. I think they're meant to be pollen. Whereas these are honey. These are actual honey you make. Yeah. That's the oh, pollen. Oh, these are cool. I love these. Oh, uh, yeah, they're little like backpacks of different colour pollens. So they actually You can oh, see the straps. Yes. So it's like the bees go off with their little backpack. Oh, they collect the backpack because they're collecting the pollen. Well, they take the backpack, it's empty, and then they fill, fill it up, up and, and then come back with a yeah. bulging backpack of pollen. So these are their little pollen. So it looks different because in here... They almost feel like dyes. They're, they? they just look like little, almost little rocks. They don't yeah. actually look 
They must have redesigned them. Was there them. anything else in the box, in the box there? Because there's lots of other tokens here yeah. we've got. And then what are these? Forage we've got tokens. Got forage, got forage tokens. There's fan tokens somewhere, but I haven't seen them. These just look. Okay, so these forage tokens again have the honey. Oh, they're double sided, yeah, so they. Nectar tokens, nectar tiles. These must be oh, yeah, these must be nectar tiles. Again, they've just got a lovely feel to them. They could so easily have, have just been pieces of cardboard, and mm. but they, they have a lovely feel. The artwork on it is really nice. What else have we got in, in We've got like, almost these weird... Oh, are they the fuzzy bees? Fuzzy ones, but I don't know. I can't see where the fuzzy bees are. If you throw their fuzzy ones. I can't see where it says it on the are they fuzzy? notes. They feel fuzzy. Yeah, is that cool? You like? <laughs> it just feels a bit weird. It feels a bit like touching your beard. Oh. <laughs> My beard isn't that soft. I would love to have a nice soft fuzzy beard like that. Oh, they're so cute. But, oh, they're the fan ones. Mm -hmm. Pretty fan coloured yeah. tokens, but where are the are your fuzzy bees? Is this just like your fuzzy bee because you choose the colour? I don't know. Because I don't <laughs> see where they've got fuzzy bees. Because these there. ones aren't. Are these fuzzy? No, no they're, they're, just, they're wooden. just wooden. Aren't they? So they're wooden and they're the drone ones for solo play. Open the bag, so. Sorry, I didn't know Spread the love. you wanted to open everything. Yeah, get it all open. Show it all off. Oh, they're away on the bag. Damn, the quality is amazing. I can definitely understand why Elf Creek Games have won so many awards and been in so many best lists in terms of production value over the past three or four months. It is absolutely gorgeous. I guess this is where like those tile things are meant to go and stuff for. Probably. I mean, that's always the hardest part of any game, I find. If you can get it out, getting it all to go back in in, in some semblance of order it can be a nightmare. Especially if you want to keep it in little. Yeah, I've never been able to get the lid back on Dinosaur Island properly. I'm just going to tidy up some of these cards a bit just so I, we can act, crack open these two little extra bits. But I'm very excited for us to get this to the table as soon as we can. Now. Okay. This is certainly living up to all of my hopes and expectations so far. For preference, which one you want to open? Do you want to go for the wooden coins or the honey pot? Mm, the wooden coins first. Well, I we'll figure we can do one each, really. I'm just going to put that in the bag, but it's all right. What's that? Mm. You have to go back for the honey, will you? Yeah. So the wooden coins, the reason that the order got delayed. And I didn't want to open this until we had everything here. Does it does it matter if I destroy the box to get into it? Because the Well, I do really not. Well but I they, haven't actually Aren't they going into here? The coins? I don't know. Yeah. It's a bit tricky to I'm not quite sure how you're meant to get into the box first. I think we'll just have to Oh, there is it? Yeah. No, I had to There you go. Oh, you rushed. Well. Yeah. yeah, do that. Bye-bye, <laughs> box. Not needed. Well, no, apparently not. Thanks for that. So what have we got in the honey pot? The honey pot expansion contains new components that you can include in your games in any combination. 
Some introduce new rules that alter gameplay while others increase the variety. So we've got more configuration cards. Right, so we've got some drone dice that we can use instead of a drone deck, which is part of the solo gameplay apparently. Ooh. Got a full on little honey pot here. Yeah. Yeah. Wonder if like the starter thing fits in there. No, maybe not. No, no. First player marker won't fit in there. No. I'm diving straight in. No, oh, I'm taking it'd be a little bit sticky or something. <laughs> I don't know how they would manage to do that, but yeah. Is it, it squidgy? Been... No. Not even squidge, not even made of the same. No, not even the honey. I mean, I, I wouldn't expect the pot to be squishy, but Just it would have been cool if the actual honey in there was. Uh, yeah, slightly had squishy. Had some sort of texture. But no. Nope. But it is very pretty. No idea what role it plays though, because I can't really see it listed. So, little coins are I mean, they're a definite upgrade, aren't they? They smell lovely. All different types of wood. Mm. I mean, they just feel good, don't they? And again, the, the theming and the art style was fantastic. So it's like smoked wood. Okay. Oh, it smells like. And these die look great. What are we doing? Oh, these are the, the nectar boards. They look. They were worth the wait, weren't they? So these apparently make foraging a bit more. Wow, well, they're substantial. Look how thick they are. They make foraging. Oh, so you're meant to put your little thing in there and then bring it to. You foraged it. Then you collect a nectar tile from the field. If you don't have an empty cell in your hive, you can store it in your nectar jar. Okay. And then we've got some new configurations. Like the starting pattern of the hives, so even more, even more variability and replayability. So it's going to be a long old time before this gets boring in theory. More order cards. Oh, we got back. Market rush. So yeah, new configurations. More contest cards. And more stuff for the solo game as well. So. Okay. More stuff to uh, There's an awful lot going on in here, isn't there? I think I'll group these with the uh, base game ones. Huh. Now they've got little larvae on your die. Yeah. And, and that's the fan. fan. No idea what that is. Got nectar pollen. So it's like five coins. Five money. Coins. Yeah, matches that. No bees or something that time round. I don't know. Might That's no the solo foraging. variant, so that might be something to do with the drone, perhaps. And this one's got, um, looks like the different nectars oh, yeah. are on there. Oh, cool. I'm so excited to play this. Oh, only one will fit in. Well, there's a little, I think they came in that bag. Yeah, but there's the space there for something where well, the honey pot fit in. Possibly. Or was that with? No, I guess that wasn't where the first marker was. No, first marker was here. Well, I buried that. Yeah. That goes there. So, what do you think? I think it looks very complicated <laughs> when we get yeah. there. Yeah, I think there's a lot going on in the actual game itself. Because I think there's aspects of. I don't know if there's worker placement similar to Everdale, but obviously you're trying to. You've got to find certain sets of pollen to make certain sets of honey to satisfy orders. So it's going to be some form of set collection. Man, it, obviously based on the nectar jars, there's going to be issues that your hive's going to be full up. So you're going to have to manage your, your space in your hives. Mm. Managing your number of workers, because you're obviously reproducing those with lava. Lavi. You're the scientist. I'm not sure of my pronunciation. Um, so... I guess this is the field 
field where the pollen is. Yeah. That's what and then you like. send out your drones or your worker bees to collect them. But I think it's definitely something I've learned since I've got into this hobby that I get very, very excited by pretty, pretty things. And this is undeniably a very, very, very pretty thing. And I think... Pretty game. I don't think it'd be controversial to say it's, it's overtaken Everdale for me in terms of prettiness of the components. Because Everdale is gorgeous. But it doesn't quite have the volume and... What, what's the word I'm thinking of? Diversity of components. Yeah. It's sort of the meeples, the resources and cards. Yeah. Whereas this has got the, the coins, the pollen, the fans, these... The nectar jars, obviously some of them come in the expansions and whatnot, but it is just absolutely gorgeous from start to finish. I hope you're ex excited to play What's it as going I am. On? Yeah, you seem a bit overwhelmed. Yes. Yeah. Lots of different components. I'm just like I want to fit them all inside the box now. That is generally your favourite part of any game: is <laughs> tidying it up Tidying as up. much as anything. <laughs> Putting it all yeah. in the books. <laughs> Maybe we should have an agreement where I play the solo version, then you just tied it up. That might work. <laughs> but excellent. I thank you for watching that. Hope you enjoyed looking at Honey Buzz uh, from Elf Creek Games. And it is as gorgeous as I'd hoped it was. Um, I hope that comes across in the footage. If not, check out Quackle Apes unboxing because. That's the one I watched and I got about five minutes through it before I had to stop the video, go off and order the game because it was just so beautiful. I think as soon as they opened those little honey tokens, mm. that was it. I was gone. I had, to, I had to buy the game. That was it. Just for the honey. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, look after yourself. Stay safe and have a good one. Thank you. Bye bye now.